Hey Glorify fam, it's Macy. I wanted to hop on here to encourage you and hopefully challenge you with something that God has put heavy on my heart. Um, a, about a week ago, I woke up with Psalm 139 verse 23 through 24. Um, immediately came to my mind as soon as I opened my eyes. And that verse says, search me God and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is anything offensive in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Uh, so I didn't know why that that was on my mind, but I prayed it to the Lord. And then later that afternoon, I was in the kitchen, I was cooking, and I was listening to a sermon that my dad was teaching on repentance. And repentance is when we acknowledge and we confess our sin to the Lord, and then, and then we turn from it, and, and we turn towards His way. Um, and so I, I immediately just began, began to become grieved by sin, um, the sin in my heart, the sin of God's people, God's bride, His church, and then the sin in our nation. Um, and I got on my knees and I prayed again that verse, search me God, search us as your people, know us, see if there's anything in us that offends you, and then lead us in your way, lead us in the way everlasting. Um, and I felt God so close um, in the kitchen, on my floor, I felt a spirit there with me, and I knew it was because that God loves repentance. Repentance is such a beautiful thing. Um, it's, it's a thing that we should be constantly doing, constantly constantly confessing our sin, constantly turning away from it. Because when we do that, we are led closer to God's heart and closer to His purpose for our lives. Um, it's something I believe that is happening in our world today is, is an awakening, um, a merciful jolting of God's people, His church. Um, a reminder of what James 4.14 says, and that verse says that our lives are but a mist. Um, the entirety, the whole, the entirety of that verse says, um, "For you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? You are but a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes." Our time here is so short, um, and so I want to ask, as the people of God, as as those that claim to be followers of Jesus, what are we doing with our time today? Um, what are we doing with the time He has given us? And maybe this time um, that we've been given, this time of quarantine is a time set apart for us as His bride, His church to evaluate our mindsets, our hearts, our choices, our alignment and partnership with the world and our alignment and partnership with the heart of God. Um, will we take it seriously? Will we um, put ourselves before the Lord? One of my favorite people in scripture is David. Um, King David was, oh, and he, he's the one that penned Psalm 139, but he was a really messed up person at times. Um, his sins uh, were really big, like adultery, um, committing murder. Uh, this guy, um, he had some really low moments, but God, when he describes David in scripture, he describes him as a man after his own heart. And we have to ask, how in the world could God say that when David committed murder, when David uh, committed adultery? It's because David hated sin. Um, he truly was grieved when he found that he was deceived by sin, when he found that he was caught up in it, he repented. He constantly had a heart of confession. He constantly put himself before the Lord and said, search me, know me, see if anything in me offends you, offends you and then lead me in your way. Um, David didn't love um, and, and find comfort and acceptance and godlessness. Um, he didn't. When he realized um, the things he was doing was repulsive to the Lord, he was grieved and he immediately repented. He immediately turned away from it. And that kind of heart is what God desires for his people. And what if God could say that about me and you? What if um, one day when our lives are over, he could, he could say, you were a man, you were a woman after my own heart. You desired my way, you desired my heart above the world's. And I wanna challenge us and encourage us today to use this time, to not just spend it watching Netflix, to not just spend it um, complaining, but to really use it to put ourselves before the Lord and with the heart of David, pray a simple prayer. Pray, search me God. Search my heart, know my thoughts, test me. See if there's anything in me that offends you and then lead me in your way. I wanna challenge us as his people to do that. And what God can do with a heart of confession, with a heart like David, 
but the heart of repentance is beautiful. Matthew 3, 8 says, bear fruit for the kingdom of God in keeping and repentance. That means if you want to be used in the kingdom of God, if you want to, to work for his kingdom, which is really all that matters, then keep in confession, keep in repentance, and be led closer to his heart, closer to his purpose for your life.